All right, guys. So uh, in this video, we are going to continue our journey in Haskell. We are going to keep on studying a lot other, uh, a little bit of an intermediate topics in in Haskell. And um, one of the things you're going to learn today is uh, is basically you're going to look at functors. We're going to look at functors. So um, let me just spell this out correctly. What we're going to look at today are are functors. Okay. So with Okay, what are what are functors? And um, the best way to understand what functors are, uh, uh, let's do this. Um, let's just quickly open up a terminal and um, let's just do an info on functor. And um, according to the type class that's available in in um, defined in Haskell, uh, I see that a functor is basically uh, okay, so there's lots of, lots of useful information here, and what I'm going to do is, the best way to do this is, uh, let's just take a screenshot, let's just take a screenshot of this specific piece here that I need, and let's quickly go back to our Blackboard, so that we can just study this, at least from a theoretical background, before 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 writing some some, some code that, uh, that, that uses this. Okay, so... First thing what I'd like to do is um, let's just let's just ignore this piece. Let's just ignore. Uh, let me just get a brighter color. Let's just ignore this this green box. Okay. Let's not even worry about this right now. So let's just ignore this. Okay. And um, and what this tells me is that um, I have a class. I have a type class which happens to be called functor. And um, if any type, if any type would like to be an instance of a functor it must it must provide the implementation to the to the, to the behavior of this fmap method so what does the fmap fmap method do okay so um, so it takes in a function as a parameter it takes in a function it takes in a function as a parameter as one of the parameters okay and um, a second parameter a second parameter over here uh, in fmap is basically a functor value. It's a functor value, and um, and what what it does is it takes it takes in this function. It takes in this function f. Okay, so just so that we don't confuse with this f over here, let's call this maybe as f one. It takes in a function f one. Okay, which is which has this uh, type over here from a to b, and uh, it takes in a functor value which is this f of a. And it spits out it spits out a functor output value which is f of b. All right. Now again, what is what is what is really happening here from a very very high level? Okay, what's really happening here is that the best way to understand this is that um, when we are in this type world, when we are in this type world, that is telling us. Uh, 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 so let's just do this. Let's just read like this again. F map has a type. That goes from A to B. It takes in a function that goes from A to B, and it takes in a functor value f of A, and it gives you back something functor value of f of B. Now the way I the way I like to look at this again okay, before getting into more details at a high level, the way I like to look at this is it's basically it's basically lifting it's lifting this function that originally works on type A from A to B. It takes a function. Which has a type from A to B, it lifts it, it lifts it, okay, it lifts it so that it can now work, it can now work from f of A to f of B, okay. So, so think about this. Uh, uh, let's do this. Let's just think about this for a second. Now, you may already be familiar with. Uh, with the data type, uh, or at least with the, with the type or maybe. So what is the maybe type? Um, the maybe type is basically, so let me write quickly the maybe type over here. Maybe type is data maybe, and uh, maybe x equals to, equals to just x or nothing. All right, so what does this mean? It means that, um, uh, this is this is this is my type over here. My type in this case is this piece over here, maybe of x. 
Remember, maybe it's not a type. Maybe X is my type yet. Maybe it's acting as a type constructor. This is acting as a type as a type constructor. What is a type constructor? A type constructor is nothing but it takes in some some type and gives it back another type. Okay. And uh, what I have over here is a value constructor. These are my value constructors. And what does a value constructor do? A value constructor in this case just basically takes in a value some some value and it gives you back some other value so uh, if i were to write the signature or the type of just here the type of just is that it takes in it takes in some 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 value okay so it takes in let's just be consistent with my earlier notations i'm going to take in it takes in some value Okay, and it gives you back, it gives you back some other value that is that kind, maybe of A. Okay, so just it's acting as a function. It's just acting as a function. And um, here I have a type variable, some value that, that uh, uh, belongs to this type that happens to be in this type variable. And out comes another value that has a, some other, other type there. A type constructor, a type constructor in some sense, in this case, maybe this is a type constructor. This piece over here is a type constructor. In some sense, it works something similar to what a value constructor does, but instead of taking in values as an input and giving it back some other values as an output, it actually takes in a type. It takes in a type and out comes another type. Okay? So if this is if if this type signature if this type signature is something that guides the value creation aspect, then I need some other kind of type that will guide the type construction creation. So so what that means is we now have a concept of something called a meta. Meta is basically a type. It's a type of my type. The, the type of a value okay so these 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 pieces over here these pieces over here maybe of x is basically the type is the type of this value of just of x okay so this piece over here let me just make sure my colors are consistent uh, so if I take this entire piece just of x over here that's one value Then I've got the type for that value, which is maybe of x. That's the type. The type of a type is basically what a meta is. Okay, so if I would like to know what is the type of maybe or the meta of maybe, maybe has something which takes in a star. Okay, so a star always presents a concrete type. A star depends a concrete type. So what maybe does it takes in some concrete type X. It takes in a concrete type X. How do I know X is a concrete type? Because X over here in this case or this A over here, which is both the equivalent, is actually used in this in this type world and anything used in a type world are basically concrete types. So A over here is a concrete type. Maybe A is also a concrete type. Okay? So maybe if you look at this maybe it takes in some type A, some concrete type, and spits out spits out another another concrete type. This is the signature. This is a signature that guides the type constructor maybe. Okay, so this is the signature for the type constructor maybe. Okay, so given given this idea, given this picture now. I can um, I can go back to my to my to my functor over here and uh, see if I can actually play with this a little bit more uh, a little bit more clearly. So um, so a over here is basically a concrete type. B over here is a concrete type. So so the so the the kind the kind or the meta of a the meta of a is basically just a concrete type. So uh, let me maybe put this in blue over here. Okay. So this is the type of the type A, which is the meta, the star, 
the, the kind for B is also a star concrete type. The kind for F, now remember F of A is a concrete type. F of A is a concrete type. But what is F here? F is something that takes in a concrete type A. I already know A is a concrete type. It takes in a concrete type A and it gives you back, it gives you back another concrete type. This is, this is a signature for what F is. This is a signature for what is F over here. Okay, I like why the same F is applied over here. So this, this entire thing is a concrete type and every concrete type is represented by a star. But F is something that takes in this concrete type as an input. So it takes in the concrete as an input and gives you back, gives you back this entire concrete type center concrete type star there. okay and now this is if this is what fs if this is what fs taking takes in a concrete type star and gives back a star this is exactly what was taken from taken from taken from haskell which we had earlier commented out in this green box but now we understand clearly what that f tells you it just tells you it takes in something that happens to the concrete type and out comes back another concrete type Okay, so, so 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 this so far what you've been doing here is you're looking at just you're trying to trying to understand what what functors are from a very very high level. We haven't even looked at uh, how would I even even create an instance of my of my uh, type class functor, but um, but uh, I just wanted to just wanted to put, put together um, a really really kind of a quick, in some sense even a very very. Um, kind of a dirty representation of what a functor is, and uh, what 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 really does it stand for in a in a, from a from a Haskell's perspective, and um, how we're going to decipher or at least understand what this uh, what this signature tells you. And um, now that we understand uh, at least a little bit of an idea of what a functor is, we can in the next video we can start playing with these and create create few few instances of my functors and type class.